Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and I was wrong about iPadOS. So yesterday I put out a video titled, Why iPadOS Doesn't Matter. And in that video, I proceeded to explain that in my opinion, the iPad is not a laptop replacement, and iPadOS, while it is a step in the right direction, does not make the iPad a laptop replacement. And it got a ton of views, over a thousand views in less than 24 hours. So thank you to everyone who watched that. But it also got a lot of dislikes and a lot of comments saying that I didn't do my research or there was a feature when I said there wasn't or little things like that. So I'm making this video to share with you a revised version of my opinion on iPadOS and the things that are actually there that I thought weren't. So let's start with mouse support. In my last video, I talked about how there's no mouse support and that really gets on my nerves. And well, there is sort of mouse support. It is an assistive touch feature. And yes, you can connect a Bluetooth mouse. As you can see here, I've connected my Logitech MX Master 2S to my iPad and I'm able to use it like a mouse, but you only have two options for the cursor an obnoxious circle or a large obnoxious circle. There is no like standard mouse cursor and it's really annoying. And in addition, using the scroll wheel is atrocious. There is no smooth scrolling on the iPad. It just glitches around like worse than any computer I've seen. And it is not an enjoyable experience at all when you are scrolling. All right, now let's take some time to talk about the Files app. Because in my last video, I was talking about how I didn't believe you could edit videos directly off an external hard drive, even though Apple supports external drives now in the Files app. And I'm here to tell you that you probably can, but it's too early to tell. Now, the reason I didn't test this is because I just didn't have a way to plug in an external device. All I have is the iPad in a case and that's it. So today I went out to Best Buy and picked up a lightning to SD card reader and started doing some testing. And I can confirm that there is some pretty good support for external devices in the Files app. For starters, you can now view videos and pictures without having to import them to your camera roll. You can do that directly on the Files app, playing it from the SD card without having to move it over, which is awesome. In addition, you can move files to your SD card or external drive from the iPad. So if you're catching what I'm saying, you can now offload pictures and videos to a flash drive or to an SD card. You can clear stuff off without having to plug your iPad into iTunes. That is amazing. What I wasn't able to see is if you can edit videos directly from an SD card without having to import the footage to your iPad. I bought the LumaFusion app to try this out and they clearly don't have support for iCloud files or iCloud Drive yet because there was no option there. So I got iMovie and there was no option there either. So I tried Photoshop Express and they didn't have an option either. So what I'm thinking is that the option to support the Files app or iCloud Drive was maybe not available in previous iOS versions, but it is now, but developers obviously need some time to implement these features. So I'm gonna assume that you will be able to edit videos in LumaFusion and iMovie and other editing softwares directly from an SD card or external drive. Though it will be slow and kind of laggy and not as fast as the flash storage, I think Apple did add the ability for you to do that. One thing I glossed over in yesterday's video is the downloads manager. This is a pretty cool feature that definitely makes the iPad feel more like a laptop. And I actually tested it out and it works. I was able to convert a YouTube video to an MP3 file using an online website and download that MP3 file and have it in the Files app to be able to use it wherever I wanted. Now, similarly to trying to edit a video, I was not able to access this file in LumaFusion or any of the third-party apps. However, I was able to share it using the share feature natively, so I could send it in an iMessage or I could upload it to Instagram or I could take a video 
from my SD card and send it as an iMessage without having to import it into my iPad. Now that I am in love with. And once again, I'm sure that LumaFusion and these other apps are gonna add support for the downloads folder. The only thing to keep in mind is that by default, downloads go to iCloud Drive, which means that you're going to eat your iCloud storage fast. But thankfully, Apple did give you an option to change this under settings when you go to Safari. There's an option for where downloads are saved to, and you can have them save right to your iPad and not chew up your iCloud Drive storage. Now, of course, there are so many more features available in iPadOS, but the purpose of this video was not to be a beta walkthrough. The purpose of this video was to update all of you who watched my video yesterday and gave it a bad rap to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong on some stuff. After doing further research, a lot of you guys were right. And does this change my opinion that the iPad can be a laptop replacement? Well, you know what? I actually have to say it does. I was very impressed by the advanced features here and there that I found in my research and playing around with the beta. And for the average user, I think iPad OS means you may not need a laptop anymore if you don't want it. Now for pro users and for the kind of stuff I do, do I think it can replace a laptop? Absolutely not, because I'm missing like the full version of Photoshop and Final Cut Pro and the pro softwares I need and Finder. I still think Finder's better than the Files app for now. But once again, that really depends on your use case and your preferences. I prefer laptops. I need professional software. I'm used to the workflow of a laptop. However, if you're just the average Joe, you're a student, you're a tech enthusiast, I definitely think the iPad, especially the iPad Pro, could now replace a laptop if you're running iPadOS 13. So what do you guys think of iPadOS? Do you think it can replace your laptop or are you gonna be keeping that MacBook of yours around a little while longer? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.